Hello. Can you say hello? Hello. Welcome to gardening. I don't know what episode it is. I can't remember. It's been so long. We've been gone for three weeks, haven't we, Jane? Yeah. We went on a trip, didn't we? Yeah. Where'd we go? I don't know. <laughs> we went to Boston. Do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember the playgrounds? Yeah. Did you like them? Yeah. And all your friends? Yep. Hmm. Yeah. We had a good time. And now we're back. And now we're going to do some gardening. And it is crazy. I don't think anything died. Oh, actually, <laughs> just looking over now, looks like the grapes did all get eaten. So that's a failure. Ooh, geez. Yeah. Uh, but by and large, um, most stuff is okay. Some failures, some successes, a lot of big giant weeds that we're gonna have to pull out today. Just huge ones. This one right here, they're huge. Um, so let's uh, take a tour and then we'll start getting things back into a usable situation. <laughs> My God, this is crazy. This is crazy. Let's go look. So, greens bed. We got first the Napa cabbage, which has been completely devastated by insects. Normally I spray some organic stuff like neem oil and BT oil. I did not do that because I was gone. I have been trying to not use it anyway. Should have put row crop cover on this. We'll cut them back, check seasons, but I think we're done with them until fall, and then we will try again. Spinach did great, but is bolted in the hot summer sun. It's over 90 today, and we're gonna cut that back. So that entire half of the bed, I could cut back and replace. There's been massive settlement in my dirt though, so until I'm done with the lettuces, I'm not going to plant anything on that side of the bed until I can get the whole bed filled with new dirt. Lettuces are doing great. There's some weeds. There's a lot of weeds all over the garden. By and large, the lettuces are still giving. We're going to have some delicious salad today. I'm very excited. Here's a weed. Let's pull it up. We're pulling up weeds. That is going to be a huge component of today. This is the strawberry bed. Uh, somebody's been eating the strawberries. I don't know if it was my mother-in-law or critters. This probably needs cover, even though it is here. So I did not get any strawberries, but the bed is slowly spreading to here, which is good. And I will have a full bed, but I'm a little bit wondering if I should start over next year because there's been massive settlement in this birdie's bed. And I feel like I should add more dirt. So maybe the strawberries are a failure for a second year, which is a little bit of a bummer. You win some, you lose some. Here's another weed. And another weed. The trees. It seems that somebody, me or somebody since I left or something, messed up the irrigators, the drip emitter. So that one has an emitter and it's got some mold and fungus or something on the end there. You can see it right there. That's a problem. This one has no emitter and is doing fine. This one has two emitters. It's got some problems on the leaves. So two emitters is clearly too much. This one has no emitters and is doing fine. So I'm gonna take the emitters out of that one and that one. There was a lot of rain while I was gone. So these got plenty of water. I'm not sure there's a lot of rain coming. So I gotta look into that and then we'll fix this. Next we have this, which was supposedly fennel and baby bok choy. Neither one grew, and we have a giant weed. Maybe that weed was a bok choy at one point. Could have been, actually I think it might've been, but no fennel, nothing. I'm not using these green stalks in here anymore. I'll use grow bags and I will try that again. Probably won't get to that till next week. Not even sure when the growing seasons is. Might be a little while. Turning around, herb bed, doing great. Look at this sage, it looks amazing. Rosemary looks great. Parsley looks great, catnip, stevia. Definitely all needs a trim. Can't tell if there's any weeds in there until I trim it back. Got some lavender, looking lovely. This is my rose bush. It's doing decent, but there's no roses, but it looks like it's about ready to bloom again. I think there's a couple weeds in there. Maybe that's just new growth. All in all, in pretty good shape. These are the extra tomatoes still in solo cups. Even the tomatoes in solo cups have grown three feet while I was gone, two feet. Oh, that one's definitely three feet. That is nuts. 
This is backup grapes. They're doing great. They're growing around this, which is awesome because the grapes out in outside of the hoop house got eaten by what I think are bunnies because A, the bunnies weren't out yet when I left and now they are and nothing was eating them before I left. And B, it's all pretty low to the ground. The deer could have eaten this top part. So I think that's ultimately the answer to what am I gonna do with my grapes is that they're just gonna have uh, vines on the lower part and then they'll keep growing. So I'm gonna move these over and try and start trellising them on the porch posts sometime soon. But I don't know. It is a real bummer, they got eaten. This is my apple gala tree and it is killing it, doing great. This is a failed something. I think that was a raspberry. Yep, those are my failed raspberries. That is completely overtaken by weeds. I think it was supposed to be another Nehemrod grape. Failed. This blueberry is killing it. This needs to go into the ground soon. Uh, maybe in the fall. But it's actually growing blueberries. One more backup grape. Doing great, even though it has this gigantic weed in it. Just absurdly big weeds. How do these weeds grow? I mean, these weeds have grown four or five feet while I was gone. But there was a lot of rain. Failed raspberry. No idea what's supposed to be in here, but this looks like weeds. Oh, that's potatoes. And then we're back to the potatoes. So all the potatoes, good to go. And then we have the tomatoes. So I trellised these before I left. And I anticipated two feet of growth, which would be about to here. Looks like I got three, four feet of growth. And I did not anticipate four feet, nor did I anticipate lateral feet of growth. So this is massive trimming that's needed. This is gonna be a giant part of my work for the next few days is to get these tomatoes back to single vine, retrellist, and not taking up all the breathing room for the determinate tomatoes, which are stuck here on the side and they're just getting, you can see right there, they're just getting totally dominated. Same with this poor watermelon plant. I don't even know if there's any watermelon in there, if it's all weeds or dominated by tomatoes. So that is something we gotta fix. But I mean, better than not growing at all, I guess, right? Here's our basil plants. They're doing great. Uh, some of them have a little, a little small in the leaves. I think I'm gonna trim that one and that one. Trim the flowers off, that one. But this is more basil than I'll ever eat. I got seven varieties. This is a rousing success, aside from all the weeds, which we will pull. Moving around here, there's two determinate tomatoes that have just sprouted to high heaven. Huge, huge, huge. Four feet. There were maybe two when I left. So we've got to make room for them. And here we have our broccoli, which we've got some heads. It's probably already starting to rot. So all this is going to go. Not huge heads, but you know, not terrible. That one's not bad, right? I get in there. Not terrible. That one's not bad, right? There's a little bit. I'll <laughs> make one day of broccoli. But you know, that's five pots I'll have back and more room for the tomatoes. Hi, Lavender. Outdoor grapes. Yeah, eating up to here. Which is honestly pretty high for bunnies. I don't know what's up. This might actually be deer. That is a problem. Not a single flower grew in the flower beds. All those old seeds did not work. We just got a bunch of weeds. We'll clear those out. I don't know, maybe these are flowers? I don't know. This is crazy. I need to remulch all this. That plant blew over in a storm as a grape. It got completely eaten, which is definitely support of the height hypothesis. I don't know, that's about four feet. That seems too low for deer, too high for bunnies. It's a mystery. Got a camera out here, but it was showing the inside of the hoop house, not this. So that's one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that camera out here and keep an eye on this for wildlife for the next week or so. Let's go to the birdies beds. Well, I think it's safe to say nobody was eating the cucumbers anymore. That is crazy. Just, just dominant. So we're gonna, we're gonna set that free. Free the nipple, free the cucumber, free the cuke. And uh, start getting them to trellis up this way. But no weeds in there, at least. That's something, I think. I can't even tell. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. But yeah, I feel good about that. Radishes and carrots. Definitely ready to harvest. Got a few weeds coming out. Some weird plant. I guess that's a giant weed, a tree. I don't know what that is. It's creepy. Jenna ate some radishes, but there's more to be had in the carrots. So we'll deal with this one today too. 
this bed. The onions are all going great. Not a single celery grew, so I guess I bummed the seed packet. It's like a generic thing I bought off Amazon, so who knows. I think that's all weeds. It's definitely not celery. Uh, yeah. That's a failure. I'll thin my onions, but they're looking good. And then we'll do the weeds on this one. Peppers. Transplant peppers are doing great. Look, there's actually peppers on there. Some shishitos look delicious. Might have some shishitos for dinner. And uh, some jalapenos. Smaller pepper plants are starting to grow. There, we got one. There, we got one. There, there. Weed. Pepper, weed. I seeded some of these before I left. I don't think they have grown. This is middling peppers yield this year. But it's early. Oh my God, there's a giant bell peppers in there. Yeah, we got some good peppers in there. Yeah, this still needs work. Needs work. Beans being eaten right off the vines. But I assume there's good beans inside. These beans are too high. I bet this was squirrels. It's got some good beans here. That's nice. And the corn, which got so big, it's already... So we gotta, we gotta free the corn. That's crazy. Crazy! Okay, so now it's just gonna be long time lapses of me getting this garden back into functional order. And maybe we'll. Ooh, what's here? Ooh, you can eat that. Well, yeah, this is all weeded. The onions are doing great. No celery at all. Failure there. Onions needed thinning. Shallot needed thinning, so they're all thinned up. Those two bunching onions in the middle, all good. Had some yellow onions on the end, that didn't work. But this is just a bed of onions now. So, in this bed, we had a remarkable harvest of radishes. Just wonderful harvest of radishes. Look at that, great, great, great radishes. Very exciting, very big. Uh, their day was 45 days, and that was like a week into our trip, so they, they went over by a week or two, but they're great. I'm very excited about it. The carrots uh, are going okay. They needed thinning again, so I thinned them out, got some very small carrots out of it. Soil's a little compacted for carrots. I'm a little bit worried, uh, but hopefully when they're bigger, I can dig them out. But they are thinned one more time, and now I'll give them another couple weeks. And Jane wants us to turn to that bed now, don't you, Jane? Oh, and this is just the radish greens and the leaves from the thin carrots. I don't really eat carrot greens or radish greens, so I'm just leaving them here so that when that side of the bed is done, I will till them all back in the soil and maintain the nutrients. You need help? Yeah. What do you want me to do? Okay, let's do it. So the shishito and the jalapeno are going gangbusters. Got some good shishitos in there and one, I only took one jalapeno. 
one thing I'm realizing about peppers is this whole rotation planting thing I did is kind of is kind of rough because the two that are ahead are going gangbusters and they're overshadowing the other ones. Bell pepper plant is doing okay as well. So all the new ones that I planted before I left are here and they're growing and they'll be okay. But I had to stake up the three that are in advanced state so that these other ones could get their sun and water. But that is done. Get over here, over here, it transpires that somebody ate all the sunflowers. They were growing nicely when I left. Janet said one day they just disappeared. Probably the bunny rabbits. I guess I'll dome them. I don't know. Kind of a dilemma. But I'm gonna try again this week. Maybe next. All right, so there's a lot of wisdom to planting, companion planting beans and corn, and they're both growing really well. I feel like I should have uh, planted the beans within, between the corn rows, not just side by side in the same container. It's also absurd to plant corn in a three foot tall container. It's going to easily grow far taller than I can harvest. That'll be great. The beans are trellising. I got, I got a decent okay harvest of beans but they're growing out and when they grow out and then they grow beans, squirrels eat them. So I'm hoping now they'll go that way into the corn maybe, I don't know. I got some beans, but it could have been better. Corn, yeah, it looks great though. I have no idea if it's gonna actually grow corn or what. <laughs> but uh, these two are doing okay. I now am only netting the beans, gonna roll the dice, hope that nobody eats corn stalks. Who the hell knows, they'll probably eat the corn once it happens, it's probably gonna be a giant nightmare. All my gardening fails because of pests but I'll figure something out and I wanna see what happens. So that next year I can try again. Well, that is gloriously absurd. We're gonna build new trellises for this. There's beets in there somewhere too I gotta get to. But we are going to worry about that after lunch. It's gotten really sunny and I'm getting burned so I need to eat lunch and put on some lotion. Back in a bit. Well, that's kind of awful. They definitely did not enjoy getting taken out of the netting. But hopefully now they've got plenty of room. They can rebound. They can trellis up those and then out up the stairs, assuming squirrels don't eat them or anything. Got the camera back in a place where I can watch it if they do. And I got two cucumbers out of it and I just ate them in my salad. It was pretty delicious. All right, let's move on. Lovely basil, loud landscaping. And the ginger is not ginger. I'm gonna plant that ginger. Broccoli is done. Five very small heads. Pretty 
Nothing to write home about, but I expected that. I planted it way too late. So we will try that again in the fall. I'm trying to decide if I want to use those pots for anything or just enjoy that I have some space in there. This tomato fell off. It's not too great yet, but there's a million tomatoes on the vines now. And we got some parsley and sage that we trimmed out of the garden. Let's go take a look at the results. Okay, well, everything always looks worse after I trim it. All this came out. Massive amount of tomato vines and the broccoli plants. But the tomatoes are all now single vined. This one's still the runt of the litter. Got a lot of tomatoes growing on them. Um, they're doing great. I've got this separated now. The determinants here. They are putting cages in on poles. These are all on vines. Oh, let's move this back over. I made some room. Those two romas back there. I put on poles and trellised up. Got lots and lots of tomatoes growing in here. Now that everything is on a single vine each. This one, one of them I broke. And I'm using a side vine now. Is it this one? No, it's this one. Yeah, that one I messed up and broke using a side vine, but I think it'll be okay. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're mad at me for all the banging around they just endured, but they're in good shape and they are going to keep flowering. Oh, is it about to rain? That'd be awesome. Uh, yeah, so tomatoes, done. Weeding, done, except for the strawberry bit. So let's do that next. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with that one. There's like some fungus or caking on the mulch. The emitter had gotten buried, so I think that might have been part of it. I took the emitters out, I moved them into the ones that didn't have the emitters before. That was really wet dirt. That one's doing fine. I don't know. I think these are getting overwatered. I'm gonna get switch to the emitters. I think they've got as much water as they need. Maybe it was just the rain. I don't know, I don't know. We're gonna go a week with the swap and see what happens. Moving on. I cut back the stevia and I cut back the parsley. Harvested the parsley. And the lavender's sad. The thyme's doing great. The sage, I cut some of the sage, but the sage is doing great. Rosemary's doing great. Uh, that's oregano. That's thyme. No weeds, one weed. But yeah, this bed's in pretty good shape. I think these things will perk back up now they've, they've got some room. Or maybe it's not time for lavender. I don't know. We'll find out. pulled the very holy Napa cabbage, which was really growing well otherwise. It's a bummer. I'm going to look it up and see when I can plant another batch, and then I will keep it on it with the neem oil. And we pulled the spinach, which is bolted. Pulled the mulch. Added new mulch. I'm going to water this down. Just let it do weed suppression and sit here for a while. Uh, I want to add more soil before I plant, but I still have my lettuces going strong, which I'm still eating. So I don't know. Maybe I'll plant anyway. I'm going to think about that over this next to the week. It's midweek, so I'm going to think about that till the weekend. But I think that is good. Just so many weeds in all these. These grapes are good. This gala is good. It's going to have to... Oh, boy. Uh, there we go. Alright, it's doing okay for a little bit longer. The grapes have started growing on the trellis, but I think we're just going to accept that. Failure on the raspberries. Blueberries doing good. New grapes doing good. New grapes doing good. So I took all the weeds out of these. I can see what I actually have now. Um, I guess that was my other blueberry. And it is not doing awesome. Maybe that's a blueberry. <laughs> I guess it is. That's the blueberry. That's the potato. That's a grape. Okay.
Sure, the weeds will probably grow in this. And so will the tomatoes. And there's not enough carbon. Uh, we'll do some carbon we're shredding this week. Get some more carbon in there. I did the best I could turning it, but yeah, the volume of new stuff, the old stuff is an issue. But the thing is, I don't use my compost in any time soon. This is gonna stay here for at least a year. The weeds will die. The heat will happen at some point. It will be fine. The secret to great compost is to let it go for a really long time. Okay, the garden has been stabilized from the trip. A lot of successes, a lot of failures. Sad there's no flowers in this flower bed. Sad somebody's eating the grapes. Sad the Napa cabbage got holes in it. A lot of successes. Tomatoes are going amazing. Potatoes, blueberries, lettuce, strawberry plants propagating, inside grapes growing nicely, rosebush growing, all the apple and pear trees are growing nicely, herb garden growing nicely, broccoli done for the summer, got some heads. These tomatoes are killing it. A beautiful basil garden. Seven varieties of basil. Just amazing. Complete insanity of cucumbers. Hopefully now with the new trellising, they will find their way to freedom. Suffocated beets, no beets. Try again beets in the fall. Amazing radish harvest. Thinning carrots one more time, someday. I won't have to thin carrots anymore. Fantastic onions, failure in celery. Successful corn, successful beans, successful peppers, failure of sunflower seeds. I give myself about a C plus. We have a lot to think about for before we come back out here. When can we replant certain things? What should we plant for the summer? Transition from spring to summer is complete. We'll probably pick this up this weekend, but that will be a new episode. So this is all over. Thank you very much. Take care and see you soon.